I know everyone has their panties in a bunch right now about how I've licked my own excrement before, but I will say I do not do that anymore. I have learned, and if I do do it, I make sure it's clean usually, um, but I also don't do it with other people so then I can't catch strep from them, and that's why I haven't gotten strep in over a year. Claps. Thank you. Wow. Just beautiful. Thank you so much, Miss Barry, for this very, very valuable PSA. We truly appreciate it. All right, fellas, welcome back. It's been another week of more internet, more bullshit, more AIDS. And today we've got a follow-up story from the last video we did about the cop that was for the streets, Officer Megan Hall. I think most of us are familiar with what she's done by now, but just in case you're not, this police officer liked to go choo-choo with a bunch of her male colleagues while being married, by the way, okay? Married woman belongs not in the streets, not in the sewers, but pretty much in the fucking gulag at this point. Well, sometimes when you get caught doing some shit, you're better off just saying nothing instead of saying more things to make yourself look even worse, but that's not the case here. She's finally spoken out. Let's take a look. Shocking findings of sexual misconduct rock the Laverne Police Department. Five officers and the police chief all fired. One of those officers, Megan Hall, became the face of the scandal and the target of nationwide ridicule, and she's now filed a federal lawsuit. Tonight, in an exclusive interview with our Nick Barris, Hall describes a toxic workplace behind closed doors and how sexual misconduct spiraled out of control. Megan Hall was 24 years old when she was hired as an officer here at the Laverne Police Department two years ago. Her plan was to have a career in law enforcement. She now knows that dream is likely over. I remember while interviewing for the position at Laverne Police Department, they described the environment as a family. Kind of an odd family structure, if you ask me. I, I don't think exactly a family when I think of going choo-choo with all of your coworkers like this, but shit's different down south, I guess. I don't know. You never hear a story like this come out of like Illinois, right? It's always Florida, Tennessee, Alabama, even Texas. You Southerners are truly on some shit. You are. But to call this a family? <laughs> However, while I was aspiring to protect my community, the Laverne Police Department was not protecting me. You know what the thing I hate about this most is, is that it just sounds so insincere coming from her, right? It sounds like she's reading it off of a page. And later in the video, we actually see she is reading off of a page. When the camera's on her, she's talking, looking down, reading talking, looking down, right, sitting next to her lawyer. It's a classic case of lawyered up. I mean, what would you do if you were her? You're publicly known as a thought for the rest of your life. Your face has been plastered all over the internet. You got assholes like me making videos about you. The memes on Twitter are absolutely ruthless. What do you do? I don't know. Get a lawyer and go on TV and then hope people buy it. But to do that, you've got to come up with an explanation. And her explanation, as we're about to see, is just terrible. We'll get to that right after a quick message from today's video sponsor. We'll be right back. Fellas, I've said it before, I'm gonna say it again. Tiege Hanley, the uncomplicated skincare system for men. These products have now been part of my daily routine for well over a year and I have never been more handsome in my entire life, which is why I'm once again teaming up with them to sponsor today's video. If you're a dude, you don't have that many options to look your best, so that's why taking care of your face is so critically important. That's where Tiege comes in and makes everything uncomplicated. The level one box is the best place to start, all right? You're gonna get four amazing products, which are the twice daily face wash, two times per week exfoliating scrub, an AM moisturizer with SPF 20, and a PM moisturizer to keep you healthy and hydrated throughout the night. You use these four products on a routine basis like I have, and watch, you will not even believe you're looking at you when you look in the mirror. Don't know how much product to use? No problem. They send you a card that tells you exactly how much to use of what product and when, they really could not make it any easier for us, fellas. I use the stuff every single day, and it is a critical part of my routine, but don't just take my word for it, all right? 5,000 five-star reviews on their website from satisfied customers all over the world. In addition to looking and feeling more handsome than you've ever felt in your entire life, members of Tiege also get tons of other benefits, including at least 20% off retail price, the ability to customize your box, exclusive monthly deals, pause or cancel at any time, and free U.S. shipping and low-cost shipping to most other countries. And because Tiege is sponsoring today's video, they are offering the fellas a great deal. Click the first link in the description 
description, you'll get 30% off your first box plus a free gift. Don't miss out on this amazing deal. The gifts are really awesome, by the way. I've been getting them every month. Absolutely love them. Click the link, get started today, and start looking handsome, fellas. Thank you once again to all my friends over at Teej for sponsoring today's video. I received harassing and threatening messages on my phone daily. I felt like I had been terrorized. And yes, now she is suing. No criminal charges have been filed in the case. Hall knows there are those who will say she was a consenting adult who willingly participated in sexual antics in violation of police department policy, and that now she wants to blame others, including one sergeant who targeted her early on. I know what most people are saying. You know, you could have said no. I get it. But my response to them is that I did say no and he wouldn't take it for an answer. Eventually I gave in from pressure. So her grand explanation for all of this is that she said no to one guy and then ended up saying yes to him for pressure. And that somehow led her to going choo choo with five other guys, being in a polyamorous relationship with one of the guys and his wife and countless other things that I read in the original story that aren't even mentioned here. Right, 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 totally. This is a prime example, fellas, of what zero accountability looks like. Pay attention. Hall concedes she participated under duress. She's not saying she was raped, but adds that the salacious details made public of sex on the job put her alone, center stage, and do not tell the whole story. They isolated me, they shunned me, they accused me, and they blamed me for becoming a victim. Hall suffered from depression to the point of considering suicide and at one point was hospitalized. She felt trapped. I hate this so much, so just watch her eyes here. Watch how clearly she is reading a script. Listen to how robotic her voice is, right? I sound more natural on the mic than her right now. If this was genuine and sincere, why do you have to read it word for word off a script? My supervisors work together to take advantage of my vulnerabilities and my mental health and they used it for their gain and sexual pleasure. Blink twice if you need help. And that included the police chief, Chip Davis. The independent investigation found he was aware of what was going on and even received intimate photos and videos of Hall. Who do you even turn to when the chief of police is sexually harassing you? How could I get justice when the entire system, including the chief, not only condoned such behavior, but participated in it. Who do you go to when the chief of police is harassing you? I don't know, the mayor, like other city officials. He has a boss, obviously. He doesn't answer to nobody. Come on, what a cop-out excuse right there. And it's not like he was harassing her. She was fucking him. Oops, and all of his friends too. And they were high-fiving each other about it. I was lost and I felt alone. I had no one to turn to and I had nowhere to go. Hall now realizes her career in law enforcement is likely over, and she knows those ugly memes on social media will remain forever, her reputation sullied. No woman should ever have to endure this type of abuse. What happened to me during my employment at Laverne's Police Department, it should never happen to anyone. Hall now hopes to put what happened to her here at the Laverne PD behind her. She is married and says she has a strong family support system and says that it was her faith that helped carry her through the turmoil. Yep, her faith in taking a bunch of d Well, fellas, that is about enough goddamn motherfucking internet for one day. That was a lot to take in, a lot to unpack. I feel dumber, genuinely, after watching that. I feel insulted, right? Like, you, you really expect people to believe this? I know some people are gonna believe it, but... When you lay out all the details of the story, it just doesn't add up. There's so many things that were left unaddressed. What about the fact that she was telling these guys she was in an open relationship with her husband? What about the cop's wife that she made out with at the party and her husband was pissed off about, right? Where are those details? We demand answers, fellas, and we're gonna get them in this trial. We'll, we'll see what happens. Honestly, if I had to take a guess, I would say just gut feeling she's gonna get some kind of fat ass paycheck from this just to keep her mouth shut because now, you know, the, the city doesn't want this. They don't want this smoke or the bad PR and they'll probably pay her just to shut her up. Crazy, imagine, like cheat on your husband and get a fat ass payday. Who would have ever thought this was possible?
By God. Anyway, you fellas, let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. I'm sure you guys will have oh so much to say about all this, and I look forward to reading your comments as always. If you guys did enjoy the video or were absolutely horrified by it, then do not forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe for more awesome, amazing videos just like this. Turn on your goddamn notifications so that you can be a part of the buzz every single time a new video goes live. Special thank you to my channel members as always for your extra support. You guys are the true MVPs, and I could not, in fact, be doing this without you. Check out Defy Merch down below follow me on twitter twitch and my second channel and don't forget to check out t shanley down in the pinned comment and in the video description below and i will see you dudes in the next video love you bye stay safe fellas for real